Hey, what's up everybody? Today I have my Vapor Blaster here that I've used to restore one motorcycle so far. And it worked incredible. And I did build this thing from scratch. Uh, I do have some upgrades I want to do to it, like the foot pedal and a few other things. So I figured I'd make a video on it and maybe this will help you out if you ever want to build your own. I can help you out with some of the parts and pieces and where to find them. So watch this video if you want to see me take a piece of aluminum and make it look brand new. This is a sand blast cabinet from Harbor Freight that I bought. When I put it together I sealed it up with some silicone all the way around, all the screws, all the seams, everything. And for the most part it doesn't leak. It doesn't leak anywhere there. The only place it does leak is around this door. So the next thing I want to do is try to seal this up better. This is the nozzle that I'm using and it is aftermarket. I bought this from a company in Idaho. I will put the link in the description below. It works amazing. This thing's American made. Uh, it's got replaceable nozzles, but it really adds a nice touch to the vapor blasting machine. But right now the lighting's pretty bad. I just have that stock uh, little fluorescent light. So we're gonna upgrade the lighting to some LED lights up top, drill some holes and kind of make this thing look like a Frankenstein but it's going to be pretty nice when it's done. This is a pneumatic foot valve that I got from another piece of machinery. I'm going to try it on this. Hopefully it works pretty good. You definitely need something though or else you go through all your air in no time because you have no valve. So this will really make a big difference in air conservation. Here's one of the covers off of a CB100 that I ran through the Vapor Blaster to show just how good of a job it does. I mean, it's layers and layers of just nasty stuff on there, takes it off and makes the part look brand new. So I can't wait to use this on all my projects going forward. It's going to be incredible. I have a few electrical upgrades I'm going to do to this thing. Uh, right now I'm just plugging it into the wall. So I need some kind of switch on the side to turn the pump on and off. Also, I need one for the lights, so I'm probably gonna put a tandem in instead. I'm also gonna put a GFCI outlet in the side of the four square box. So that way I can plug the pump in and then I'm gonna run just SO cord to the wall. I have these LED lights here. They're low voltage, so I figured, you know, with low voltage, uh, they are wet rated lights and I'm gonna put this on the outside. So the only thing that's gonna be inside the actual cabinet is this disc area right here where the light is. Other than that, it's gonna be all on the outside. So it should be a pretty good setup.
got the electric all done here. This is a GFCI outlet that's on a switch. So that turns the water on. This one here is your light switch for the LED lights and a lot brighter than it was before. So definitely looking forward to using this thing with proper lighting. So I just got this all set up. I'm ready to try it out. The regulator here, I'm gonna set at about 60 PSI. I can't wait to try out this foot pedal that I just got. And then also having the pump on a switch instead of just plugging and unplugging the pump and that was a pain in the butt. So it should be way better. Let's try it out, see how it does. This is the glass bead that I got. I got it from Granger. It actually comes out of Pennsylvania, but it says like the dimensions on there, 170 to 325. But this stuff's really nice. And if I can get this thing open here, you can see it's crystal clear glass bead. It's so smooth in your hand, it's, it's crazy. What's really nice about the paper blasting too is that fact that you don't have any dust and silica dust is a hazard. So having the vapor blaster is amazing. So this thing came out sweet. This is off of like a 70s CB100. So it's like 50 years old. And look how incredible of a job it does. You can see all the weathering in the center here. And it just takes it right off and it makes it look brand new. Now this was mostly done at a lower PSI. I probably could have got a better finish if I would have cranked the PSI a little bit higher up. But I didn't really want to crank it that high. I was running at 80 PSI at the end of it. Also with the vapor blasting, like underneath, you know, if you have a case like this, you want to try to keep your water clean. So in reality, if you're going to do this for a professional finish, you want to clean this grease off first and have the part going in there clean. It just keeps your water clean throughout the process. This stuff was $69 at Granger and it works great. I would not use any of the aggressive stuff for what I'm doing. I'm doing more so engine parts and dirt bike parts, but a lot of people do use a 70 grit aluminum oxide. You can get that from Harbor Freight. This stuff, I've used so little of it. I think three Gatorade bottles full is all I've used over the last six months using it. So real good stuff. If you keep your water clean, you won't have to change it out that often. We're gonna try this next. This is just a piece of brass, pretty weathered. I've been using it for a punch on a press, but we're going to throw it in the vapor blaster see what happens. So this thing came out amazing. This vapor blaster always continues to impress me. Every time I put a part in there, it's so satisfying seeing it come out nice and clean. And it doesn't take much time at all. Look, you can even see the numbers on it now. So this thing was pretty bad condition-wise before. Now it looks great. This is the pump setup. This is a six gallon bucket from Granger. And this is a Surumi trash pump. I got it used off eBay for $130. It works great. Here's the setup I have. It tees off and those hoses that are coiled up at the bottom, they actually create a whirlpool effect. I have some holes drilled in them so that it swirls the water around. That way the media is towards the center of the trash pump so it's ready to be sucked up into the intake. 
I hope this video helps you out. If you have any questions, leave a comment and I will try to help you out as best I can. This, I think I have probably $700 into it total. So pretty good deal overall. And it's amazing what it does for cast aluminum parts. So I highly recommend subscribe to the channel if you want to see more cool stuff like this.